What's going on, my good peoples? It's your boy, Jake. Hey, please do not skip through this video. I have some vital and important information, especially for the people who um, purchase shoes from StockX, GOAT, and Flight Club. A lot of people in my comment section have been complaining, saying that their shoes have been fake. Shoes are fake. But unfortunately, your shoes are not fake. They are legit. They are legitimately from Nike, Nike factory, Nike authorized factory. You have the overseas release. So this is my pair that I got from the sneakers app, uh, exclusive access. I'm just gonna do a retail, retail review. And as I'm doing this, I'm gonna start explaining some things and some things to look out for and some pointers. But right now let's just compare these two. Ah, this is the pair I got from uh, Unbreakable kicks that I did my real versus fake video on. And of course, like I said, this is from EA Nike sneaker. Right. Let's get this out of the way. All right. Boom. All right. See, you guys that got your shoes from um, Goat Stock X Flight Club. You think your shoe is fake? Look at the finish of your box. Look how clean this box is. Your box should be just like this. And if you got the overseas pair, you should have the white sticker under it with all the, you know, you know, Japanese uh, or Chinese lettering under it. And you might have a couple of stickers in the front. Those shoes are legit. Look at the font and everything here. Just focus in there. Come on, look at that. Now I'm gonna show you my fake. Now if you got, now if your shoe came in an ashy looking box like this, an ashy looking box, you can see it, it's all faded. It's all faded, cheap gold paint here. Those are the things you gotta look at, it's the fine details, it's the fine details. Look how clean that is. All right. I'm gonna look at the quality of this one compared to the one I got from Break. All right. And like I said in the comment section, if you don't, if you want the state side release, if you want the ones that were released in the United States, you're going to have to wait for the official release, go to your consignment store or get them off of eBay. That's the only way you're probably going to ensure yourself of getting a state side release. Other than that, you're going to get the overseas pair, period. Because it seems like, you know, GOAT's going to go with those people first. It's going to be a crapshoot whether you're going to get one, a shoe from the States, a seller from the States, or you're going to get it from overseas. Most likely they're going to make their profit. And most of their shoes are going to come from overseas because that's where their warehouses are. Those shoes sit in China and the UK and all those places. They don't sell out like they sell out here. The SB4s didn't sell out in China. They were, they were all stocked over there and sitting. So they're going to sit in that, that, that goat warehouse and, and, and flight club and all that stuff. And they always going to ship those. All right, so we're gonna do the 360. All right, this one's much better. It's centered. <laughs> Let's see what the right shoe is looking like. All right, that one's centered too, all right? We all seen how these were, right? The one is centered on this shoe, but it was the left shoe that was off. You see that one was off and both one from sneakers are both centered so we look at the back look at the 23 you know the 23 was off from the one from the first one as well so we look in here you see a slight shade difference is it me or is it the lighting okay it's the lighting because i'm gonna say they were a different color but they're not Everything looks 
to be even. Outsoles, midsoles are stiff. Take a look under. Carbon fiber shank. Take a look at the Jumpman. All right. You see the upper top grain leather is more tumbled on the pair from sneakers than the one uh, I used on the video. Third spacing, uh, tumbled leather looking excellent on both tongues. Uh, toe, let's take a look at the toes. Toes both look sleek. Both sleek toes look good. And I think the all important part, right? Let's take a look at the footbed. <laughs> let's take a look at the footbed. That's the whole big ordeal that's going on right now, right? So if the footbed isn't black on this one, so here we go. Footbed, black, gray stitching or dark gray, a charcoal finish. Feels like a, a, like a memory type foam in there, right? That is your insole. So I will pull this one out. So I'm gonna get some, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some explaining in a moment. So, so here we go. We got, we got a different insole. So we got 12B, 12E, AJ11, QF8H, 12B, and this is 12E. So they got A and B here. So I'm gonna look at the production date and see what factories they came from and the production date. 23, all of that basically looks the same. So there's the black footbed with that foam type feeling on the inside. So these are both state side releases. The ones that you're, the people are getting from gold, like I said, you're getting the overseas version from a, most likely a different factory. So this is what you guys are getting. You guys are getting something similar to this. Black footbed with a stamp with black stitching. The gray footbed. So, and then you're getting probably an insole that looks similar to this. Unfortunately, these guys, the Fugazis, the guys that make the replicas, the counterfeit factories, this is the this is the version they got a hold of. They got the UK overseas version. They didn't get the stateside version, so that's the one they didn't replicate. <laughs> they replicated what they can get, whatever they got pictures of, whatever shoe they got a hold of, reverse engineered it, and that's their shoe. That's what happens. <laughs> So, you know, that's a prime example of they're not made in the same factory. They're not made in the same place. You know, and that's that's that killed the myth right here. Oh, it doesn't matter. They're all made in China. They're all made in the same place. They're all the same that. But yes, I got we got the state release, the one that releases in the United States that you buy in the United States. So when the guys come out here in the comment section crabbing and complaining, talking about, wait a minute, they're both from across that water. No. And I say in the video, I got it shipped directly from across that water, shipped directly from China. So that means the ones I got here, I got from the States. Yes, I know they're made in China. You look inside the, the production date, they're made in China. No one's stupid. I don't care if you're trolling or not. It's an asinine remark asinine ridiculous that's why i give you the, the shaking head uh emoji because it's absolutely ridiculous so let's go in here let's look at the production date right we got ln4 42523 71323 ln4 sneakers app when I paid resale from Unbreakable Kicks, 
factory. L N M, right? 215-23, 510-23. Two different factories, two different production dates. Basically, relatively made the same way, except some QC issues on both shoes. So let's look at the Fugazi. The tag on the Fugazi looks a little weird on it as well. But we got SZ. So we got SZ on this one, right? That's the factory. 4, 12, 23, 5, 3, 23. So I would say most likely the overseas release has the SZ tag on it uh, from the factory. Most likely. I don't know. You guys that got your pairs from um, Flight Club and Goat and stuff, hit me up on IG. Send me photos. Let me know what's going on. I seen some photos with the guys that got their shoes from uh, flight club and all that kind of stuff but i had that same box like that with the sticker under it your shoe is le your shoe is legit you got the overseas release it's the same thing that happened with the cool grays the cherry 11s all it's all the same thing if you want the state release please do not buy from stock x and goat at this time don't do it because that's what you're gonna get if you want the ones from the states buy it from the states foot locker get in your raffles get into all those things and be patient and wait for the release date uh someone was telling me about a foolproof way to check your 11s but i don't think it's a foolproof way to check your 11s all right so uh one person was saying that first lace line right here that first lace loop is close you see how it's close right here and it's close it's close here that's the two retails and what i was told was the fakes are always further back so they're not as close so let's do this on video and let's see if that's true uh, is it it, it doesn't look as much. It, you just got the bulky toe and, you know, the, uh, you know, the um, orange peel on that patent leather and stuff like that. By the way, I've been wearing these. I'm wearing the Fufus. I ain't wearing my legits. <laughs> I'm going to dog these things out. Dog on rank. So, but anyway, um, I'm not sure if that's the full proof way uh, of checking your 11s. I think... Uh, all the other ways of looking in the fine details like box, you know, the insoles and the production dates and uh, certain QC things you would have to look at to make sure um, your shoe is right. Like the stitching here on that the stitching here. It's more fine on the retail pair. You'd have to look at the structure. You'd have to look at the structure, you know. Looking at the finish of the gold on the jump man. And that's different. I can tell you right now. Uh, well, I just found something. It looks like I just found something. Hold on, peeps. Okay, if you look here, there's some type of pattern finish that's more pronounced on on this gold jump man than it is on this one you can barely see it but it almost looks like it's um let me see if it's on this one yeah there's a difference of the gold on that jump man it looks like it's um man i can't find that word but there's some print on it like a pattern Almost looks like a fingerprint. And you can barely see it on the fake. Interesting. Real interesting. That's the thing. It's like everything on these uh, 
or the fakes, of course, they, they replicate it. So they don't replicate it to the T. So they just, you know, they copy everything. They copy everything. So everything's going to look better and fine-tuned on the retail pair and on the fake pair. You're going to see a lot of differences, like the stuff on the insole, you know, the insole pattern. And you know how how cheaper it is. You know how the how the print is on the 23 you know how the quality is and the color and the shade. That's the things you're going to see different on these shoes. I mean, I guess depending on your size, maybe that first lace line might be further back. But according to this one right here, it looks like it's uh, debunked because it's it's doesn't seem like it. I was hoping that would be the foolproof way, but unfortunately, um, it's not. But I want to reassure you guys, that's why you're not getting your money back from Flight Club and GOAT. If you do, the guys are going to fight you to the death. And you're going to keep fighting and fighting and fighting. But unfortunately, your shoes are legit. They're just not the stateside release. And like I said, it happened with the Cool Grays. Cool Grays, stateside one didn't have a stamp, in, uh, stamp on the footbed. And it had a different insole. And the ones from the China release or UK release were different made by a different factory so not everything is equal across the board i'm hoping this will help you give you guys some peace of mind um i'm gonna weigh these things right quick i'm gonna weigh them and black light them see if there's any difference in them and then that's it i'm just trying to help you guys out give you guys some peace of mind uh one person said that you know my my theory is wrong um he got a pair from the sneakers app that got the great footbed. He got a size 10. You guys that got anything under a size 12, you guys let me know. I've seen um, Ron Gosserin. He had nine and a half. He had tens on his video and he had the black footbed. So I don't know if that guy was a troll or not. So <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure out who's telling the truth right now. Uh, I got two retail pairs and I got plenty of photos from other people and videos. So uh, I don't know what that guy is talking about. So the insoles are out. I mean, uh, the paper's out on these already. So we're going to weigh them and then we're going to black light them. And then uh, that's it. That will be it with this here. That's still a trick just i mean that that first lace line lace loop if it's further back you might have a fake all right we zeroed in now remember that the fakes the fakes were heavier on my real versus fake so let's see how the retails go one pound 3.3 ounces left shoot one pound 3.2 ounces looking right It's heavier, one pound, 3.7. Let's try it again. One pound, 3.7. One pound, 3.1. One pound, 3.1. So these are the correct weight. They're even. And I will try this one more time. Make sure I'm not crazy. What's that? One pound, three. Actually went up one. Uh, another. One pound, 3.8. And so while I'm at it, I got my fake right here. One pound, 4.5 ounces. So regardless, the fakes are heavier. So let's black light them right quick. Let's see how bad these bad boys are. All right. Same residue. By the way, there's another uh, exclusive access on the Kobe supposed to be coming soon. I think what I was, what I've read was uh, you had to get an L on six Kobe releases. You had to go for them and get L on them. 
Ooh, I don't know if I did. <laughs> so I know I missed out on the Mamba Cedars and something else. So I don't think I went for those. So I don't know if I, I, I don't know if I got six, but um, we'll see if the, if I get that notification. I definitely be buying a pair of those reverse Grinches, and that would be nice to do a real versus fake because I do have a fake pair here. So it'd be nice to compare those two. So there you have it. Retail versus retail. They're basically, in a nutshell, they're basically the same. You know what I'm saying? Same build, same construct, same toe, uh, same material, all that stuff. You know what I mean? Except a little bit for the leather grain. And you know that's going to be different because it's one big old sheet that it just cut out with a laser. You know what I mean? So the uppers look good. Patent leather looks good. Toe looks good. Insole, uh, midsole, outsole all that stuff, most important footbed and all that stuff. Slight difference with the uh, uh, information on the midsole. I mean, I'm sorry, not midsole, the insole. You know what I mean? And that's about it. Uh, the ones that I got directly from sneakers, uh, definitely better QC and all that stuff. And you guys that got your shoes from GOAT and StockX and Flight Club, your shoes are legit. You have the overseas release, especially if you have that sticker under it. You have that sticker that white sticker under it, uh, cause even even the fakes don't have the white sticker. See, this is a fake SB4, doesn't have the white sticker under it. Um, hopefully that doesn't fall. This is another fake with no white sticker under it. Now I'm gonna find if I could find my SB4 uh, in all this heap of shoes I'm surrounded by. I'm gonna show you that that shoe came from Goat and. Um, it had the white sticker under it. So, and that was an overseas version. So here we go. Here we go. This is what you guys uh, should be getting. You might have a sticker or two in the front like that. And then there it is. You should get that under your shoe. That solidifies that you have an overseas release. All right. So fret not, if you don't want the overseas release, even though it's legit, then that's on you. Get your money back. And I feel personally that GOAT and StockX should let you know, yes, it might be verified, authentic, and this and that, but you should know, hey, this shoe is coming from our warehouse from China, Japanese, it might differ, for, uh, or Japan, it might differ from the version that you get from the United States, but rest assured that your shoe is legit it's 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 the non-us release whatever you want to call it so uk release i think they should do that you knew the difference before like the uk release and the stateside release when united states had the price tag on it you know what i mean they did that now they changed they took it off because they always change the prices now because they don't want to be bound by whatever prices that are on the shoe so they could basically rape people so that that's capitalism for you so but it is what it is. Like I said, rest assured, your shoes are legit from Goat and Stock X. Even with that um, darker outsole, that's the way they're made, unfortunately. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Jake signing out. I appreciate you guys listening and watching throughout the whole thing. I hope you guys listen. My watch time on other videos is like five minutes. So you're not going to get anything in its proper context if you're going to skip through and just watch uh, bullet points. That's why I try my best not to argue with people anymore. God bless y'all, man. Peace.